Hi again everyone. So I saw last day that someone asked me about the possibility of modifying or even creating word files through Python and this is possible but you'll need to install a third party party module which can install Python docx already have it installed so uh, let's create a template first to see how it works so we will have this template and let's call it template <laughs> not template it's template and we will have something like notification And we can do something like dear salutation and you'll have to have this between parentheses it doesn't matter if it's square brackets or normal brackets but you have to somehow have them and we can go with first name because if you will have like just salutation or first name it will work also, it can be found multiple times in the file, and we don't want to change it if it's not related to what we need. So, it's first name and last name. Uh, what else? It has been a while since your last visit on, let's say, last contacted. We hope that everything is fine at your company name and what else can we add? Let's say looking forward to see you as a representative to see you first name and last name so we have it two times as a representative for company name regards the team okay so we'll have this it doesn't matter it's just to, to see how it works it's just uh, a basic template which you can modify for a, let's say ceremony or anything else that that you might need and we will have um, something we should start with from docx import documents and we'll define the fill uh, template which will have template path and output path and data and the doc will be the document which will have the template path okay and for paragraph in a text file or a word file a paragraph means each new line so the problem is as you can see here because we have this on two lines and we'll have to go two times through all of them so in order to avoid this to go just one time per line we can do something like to our company so we will avoid that so for each paragraph for each new line basically in um, document that paragraphs paragraphs we need the key and the value in data.items if the key is in the paragraph that txt that text sorry we will have paragraph that text and it will be paragraph that text that replace and key 
comma value but this is if you have like i, I modified now the, the placeholder on a single line um, but if you don't have because i didn't have in first place so it will skip some some of the lines so in order to avoid that it will go for each run in paragraph that runs and we'll have run that text equals to run that text that replace key and value so we'll go multiple times on the same on the same paragraph just to be sure and here we'll have doc save output path if name equals equals to not three just two comma main we need data which is a dictionary which will have firstly salutation and it will be let's say mister and first name which will be let's say mike and last name it will be jagger and what else last contacted contacted it will be april 1 2022 and we also need company name so company name which will be jaggy inc cool company name okay and now um, we need temp temp template template fat which is template that duck x and we also need the output path, which will be, let's say, completed, that docx. And we'll have field template, which will take template path and uh, output path and data. And now if we are running it, you can see a new file created, which is completed. Dear Mr. Mike Jacker, it has been a while since your last visit on 1st of April. We hope that everything is fine at Jackie Inc. We have two points here because it's from the ink and the end of the paragraph. Looking forward to see you, Mike Jagger, as a representative for Jackie Inc. Looks great. But <coughs> um, let's say you will need, I mean, you won't need this for just one person because. You can do it manually if it's just one person but we will, if we will have multiple recipients so we'll have first name um no. last name mm, last contacted mm, company name and salutation you can get such a file already created from from chat gpt or any ie solution i will create for the sake of time we'll create one with a few examples and we'll have john and johnny and julio and alexa can be john doe of course and johnny smith and julio javes and alexa fernandez let's say because Alexa should be a woman. And we'll have 1st of October 2023 and 3rd of December 2022 and 26th of April, 25th of April 2023 and 28th November 2022. Company name can be Doe Enterprises and Smithy 
ink and jj ink and fail <laughs> enterprises prices we'll have mr 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 and this is let's save this We'll have to save it as a CSV. And let's say contacts. We can delete this one. Don't need it. Okay, so now we have contacts. And in order to generate a file for each one, we need to do a little a little modification. So we firstly have to import pandas as pd in order to read the CSV file and everything else is okay. Mm, I think until here. Read the document save and now we can define generate templates and we'll have CSV path and template that and this function will have firstly we'll have to read the csv and we'll have data frame equals pd dot read that's it come on that's it csv and csv will have csv pet and for index and row in data frame that the rows as a function will have the same here okay but instead of typing it hard coding it or typing it manually we can have row and we'll have salutation Can just copy paste the whole thing. And what will be row salutation, row first name, and but what's the problem here? Okay, row last name, last contact as the header you have in the in the csv file and row company name okay so we have also the data and now mm. we need output path which we need to modify because we don't have a single one now so it will be an f string let's say template for And we can take the index number, but it won't be enough because we are not sure whom should receive this. And then we can do row and first name and again row last name. And also we need the extension, which is docx. Great. And now everything we need is the, I think the first function is fill template and it will be template path and output path and data. And we still need these, but not all of these. Mm. We don't need a dictionary anymore. And I think we can delete everything, basically. Yeah, no, we'll need the CSV path, which is contacts, if I remember well, that CSV. We also need the template path, which is template doc x. And we also need to call the function, which is generating the templates with the CSV path and the template path. And that's pretty much it, hopefully should work. So let's give it a try. 
Fingers crossed. No arrows. Ah, it's already done. Okay. I have just one. Which is cool because something is wrong. Not sure what. Mm. My spacing is wrong, of course. Now we can run it again, without my mistakes. Uh, and we'll have all four of them. So first one's John Doe, second John Smith, third Julio Javes, and fourth Alexa Fernandez. So first one with John Doe. John Doe, first of October, everything is fine at Doe Enterprise is cool. Second John Smith. John Smith, third of December, Smithy Inc. Okay, fourth, uh, third, sorry, Julio Javes, 25th of April. JJ Inc. and the last one for Alexa Fernandez, which is Mrs. Alexa Fernandez, 28th of November, Fair Enterprises. Cool. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it seems very useful now, but if you have to generate like 100 or 1000 invitations to something, like for a corporate party or something, it's pretty much time consuming to do it manually for every one you have to invite. So. I think it's pretty, it comes pretty handy when you need it. Okay, so thank you for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, Python descriptive, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.